May the culture of Coronation Street has made us laugh, it has made us cry, and I'm sure lots of us have watched in shock at the storylines that come along. Yeah, now, 60 years it's been on our screens. And tonight, uh, it's going to celebrate its 10,000th... Which is not easy to say. But 10, it's a lot. 10,000 episodes. It's a lot of episodes. One of you lot I haven't wanted to get rid of in my time. I just don't see why you're so concerned. What's happened, Red Deirdre? Deirdre and Rashid, the jury has found you guilty. I didn't do any of it. Shut up! You didn't kill Maxine, did you? Yes. Which one sent you? Help me! She's dying! Help me! Oh, no, right, it's been nice working together, haven't I? No. Oh. 10,000 episodes, and could I say, Sally Ann, I think my wife has them all taped. Because <laughs> every time I come home, what are you watching, doing? She's. I said, there couldn't up possibly it's be this amount. It's quite a box set, isn't it? But you also know, there's so many catch up. episodes now, aren't there? <laughs> there are, and I think um, I've seen somewhere that they're releasing some of the original episodes on BritBox. Mm. So that's nice yeah. for people to watch from 1960. Yeah. A trip down memory yeah. lane. We were just talking in the, in the break that we watched... I watched it... The reason I'm a big Corrie fan is I watched it with my grandma and she was a huge Corrie fan, so I just yeah. always remember it being on in her house. Well, like Helen Work always says that you watch it with your parents and your grandparents and then you get... You grow up, you get jobs, you have your own children, you have a busy life and so you might leave it for a few years and then you come back to it again. So, I think... And when you do come back to it, there are still familiar faces... It's the familiar street. Well, a bit like the story of your life, really. Yeah. Well, yeah, for me, yeah. too, yeah. As, right, I joined in uh, 1985 and I was there for just over five years. Then I had a 22-year gap. And then I've been back just over five years again now. It's but it's, blown a, it's an amazing thing. I mean, you jo and if I remember correctly, you were this troublesome teenager. Oh, it's just uh, misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, so... so has it been enjoyable watching yourself, your character, mature over that time? Um, and, oh, do you see that haircut? The we all had that, then. We did, we all had the mullet. My yeah. Auntie Jenny bought me that blue scarf that I'm wearing around my neck. <laughs> um, it, it, it's a history, and nobody... You know, you have now videotapes of yourself and your kids, but I have a, a real history yeah. of, of my haircuts, my <laughs> weight, <laughs> everything else, my wrinkles. Mm. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a lovely thing to have... Uh, for me, yeah. to, to look back on. Well, and it must be lovely to be involved in the 10,000 Tonight's episode. episode is absolutely wonderful. I, I watched it the other day. Um, there's so many nods to the past. The very opening scene is a, is a massive throwback, and I'm not going to give too much away. Um, but it, it pays a homage to our history. It also has at least six, maybe seven current storylines that all converge. Because we... Um, I don't, I'm not giving anything away by telling you that Rita receives Dennis Tanner's ashes uh, with a request that she takes them to Blackpool and scatters them. And uh, Rita's currently living in the Rovers with mm. Jenny after she mm. fell in, at Christmas. But why, so, why Blackpool? Did, was she not nearly run over by a tram well, at Blackpool? Well, Blackpool's not got good memories for no. either of us, to no. be honest. No. Um, so I don't know why Dennis wants to be scattered in Blackpool. Maybe it's a bit of a sick joke, but she, uh, she takes on the responsibility, mm. even though she was uh, left heartbroken by Dennis. And so Jenny decides to gather the, the women of the street and to go off together to support Rita while she does well, I think we've, we've got a clip of what you're talking about. Let's have a look. Hey. It's from Dennis. What does that old rascal want now? Scattering in Blackpool. He's, de he's dead. Well, they'd have a heck of a job to get him in there if he wasn't. Oh, oh, dear. The cheek of it. When he drove off with that scheming cow, Gloria, any obligations I had to him ended. Give him to me, I'll flush him down, Lou. Oh, you can't do that. You'll block up the system. And what would a plumber say if he saw human remains in your U-bend? 
Oh, you oh see, that's why I love it because you have these really poignant moments yeah. in Coronation Street where yeah. we should be having a little tear. And then well, we've had this week as Yeah, we've always had this week um, the Yasmin and Jeff oh. story, which you know Twitter has gone mad for and everybody wants to queue up yeah. to punch him on the nose. Um, and there's a little bit of that in tonight's episode as well. There's a, a scene near the end of the episode which is played beautifully by Shelley King. Um, there's also so many other stories. You've got lovely scenes with Barbara and Sue Nichols and Bill Roach. Um, uh, you've got Ali King and new girl Molly who plays yeah. Nina. What about really you and, and Barbara? Obviously, you said when you came into Coronation Street was as her foster yeah. daughter. Well, I learned everything from Barbara, yeah. from Barbara and Thelma and Mark Eden, and I feel very fortunate that I had them as mentors. Um, I always say when Barbara ever <laughs> tells me off, I say, well, I learned it all from you, Barbara. <laughs> um, but it's a re we, we had that scene that we just saw a clip of then and we have a, another scene near the end of the episode where Barbara is just magnificent. It's a beautiful scene that I think will bring a tear to your eye. Um, the whole episode, uh, uh, you will laugh, you will smile, you'll be intrigued, and I think by the end of it, you will... OK, a big say, no more. <gasps> say no more, say no more. It's half past seven tonight on ITV and it is the street's 10,000th episode, so it's a great honour for you really? to be involved in that really uh, as well. And it's brilliant written by Damon Rochefort, must mention that. OK. Yeah, it's always brilliant, 60 years, it's incredible. Uh, and we look forward to seeing that. I'm dying to know what that twist is now. <laughs> I'm dying to know what that twist Not is. Not telling. OK. <laughs> Lovely seeing you. Lovely Thank you me. very much.